Good afternoon, everyone. It's about 10 to 3 here in the UK, so we're about, what, 20 minutes into the US session. And uh, PPI, American PPI, came in very, very hot, folks. There was also a bad number uh, from uh, the Philly Fed, uh, and markets have sold off. Uh, I get the feeling that the market got a sniff of the numbers before they came out because uh, we fell very hard in the pre-market uh, uh, well before the number was announced, but that's something beyond my control. So, uh, as you can see, a uh, good day yesterday, uh, and uh, so far, uh, this sell off that we've had 44 points in the SP uh, hasn't affected the short term trend in the Victor Vest Composite. So, uh, as we are, we're, we're 20 minutes into the trading day, uh, all the measures of the trend are still up, but the uh, short-term trend has taken its foot off the gas and Vectorvest advocates caution when buying stocks at this time. So let's have a look at the Vectorvest composite itself. I was quite starting to get quite positive in that composite yesterday and I still am. Uh, this is the Vectorvest composite over the last six months. It's an equally weighted index of all of the stocks that we follow on the American markets. Uh, those are my medium-term uh, uh, market timing system. Uh, it's called the DEW. I won't bother with what the acronym stands for, but uh, clearly there's a quite a useful down signal. There's an up market uh, down for what a couple of weeks, and uh, since uh, what date was that? Since uh, the 10th of January, uh, the short term trend has been up. The longer term trend has been up much much longer than that. Uh, but I find this trend uh, market timing uh, method very useful uh, for my uh, swing trades. I've, I've drawn this little bull flag, and the bull flag is in place if you look at the NASDAQ as well. And clearly, markets are at a very important level today. Yesterday, they broke the bull flag and they pulled back, and they're now testing that uh, bull flag, uh, at least the top line defining the bull flag bull flag after uh, that uh, big, big PPI number or that hot PPI number. So uh, uh, if we have now a look at uh, the uh, market intraday, I'm still of a bullish disposition, folks. I am still uh, feel that this can break from here. Uh, maybe not today. Uh, and uh, we can certainly maybe fill this gap. Still a long time to go. It's going to take this is a 15 minute chart over the last, what, three, four days now. Uh, I've had a pretty good run in this, so uh, I, I've got a few points to play with, although that's not never the right attitude, I know. But uh, I would like to see uh, some form of a reversal pattern here in the 15 minute chart. Uh, so far, far too early uh, for me uh, to do anything. But uh, I'm always, uh, if, the, if the trend is up, I always like to buy at support and the market's right at support at the moment. Some confirmation from the 15 minute chart and I would certainly be a buyer there this afternoon. Uh, so uh, I have some positions running in the American market, uh, three spread bets. Uh, they're all doing okay, Cirrus. Uh, U URI and Deckers. Deckers is the worst of the lot. Let's see what they look like this afternoon. Uh, this position I got in just after that uh, outside, inside day uh, and uh, the stop loss is still at the initial stop loss. Uh, I haven't brought the stop loss up to entry. Well, I might do that this afternoon. Uh, uh, URI, uh, stop losses. Uh, at the entry point and I've taken off a little bit uh, and this is Deckers. Deckers I've been in for quite a while now but it's done nothing over the last uh, little while while the market's been going sideways. I'm still hanging in there, still on the Vector Vest buy recommendation. My best trade so far this week is in the gold market and uh, that's the gold market itself. That's a four hour chart of the gold market. I the, the weekly chart and the daily chart were telling me to look for shorts and I got quite frustrated in this run up here because there wasn't any, uh, the market just kept on drifting up uh, and then all of a sudden it cracked and then it went into this 
beautiful bear flag. It's just a, a textbook example of a, a bear flag. And uh, that was what uh, Richard Wyckoff uh, called so many years ago now an upthrust where the market runs up and then reverses. And I'm short from 1880 just there. Uh, and we're now at 1830. I brought my stop loss up. Uh, and this afternoon, I, I'll bring the stop loss up to about 1850, uh, I think, uh, of give or take a tick or two. I think that uh, uh, I'm looking for uh, the target, and this is quite big on the upside, downside, but I think when we get into this range here, uh, that would be a good place uh, to bank something. Uh, and I haven't banked any of this yet. I haven't even banked a half of it. I was so sure of the trades. Uh, so I think we get down to 1800 level. Uh, that should be banked. So that, that's quite a good one. I'm very, very pleased with that particular trade. Uh, in the UK, I haven't done anything. I had a good trade. I showed the UK people on Monday afternoon on BP. Uh, and I've taken some profits in that. I had a good trade in Jet 2. I've taken some profits in that. I had a good trade on Hostel World, and I took some profits in that. But I got a smack in watches in Switzerland. Uh, and uh, Pan African Resources is still doing bugger all. Uh, so, uh, uh, but uh, I'm reasonably pleased. And of course, Glencore has come back on me uh, terribly. Cape Tech, well, uh, that is gone. Uh, as you know, the major shareholder is taking it uh, private, so out of that. And uh, uh, so, but I'm very pleased with this one. We're now below 1830. I think that we'll get to 1800 here fairly, fairly quickly indeed. So gold's been good to me. Got the GDX on the way up, and I've caught the actual spread bet on the gold uh, price on the way down. Uh, so let's go back and have a look at the SPX. SPX, I think. Uh, as I say, my my strategy has always been if the trend is up, then I want to buy support. Uh, I want to fade the long term trend, uh, and I want to fade the short term trend in the direction of the long term trend. And uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, at the moment, the uh, long term trend on the American market is up, and it's pulled back to support. And I, I'm now going to try and fade this little bit of a short-term trend in the direction of the longer-term trend. Uh, the objective is to get in and risk a very, very small amount to make lots. So uh, I get this question from people I sit with all the time. Uh, how did I know it was going to go up? And uh, if this trade works this afternoon, it, it, I didn't know it was going to go up. All I'm trying to do is to risk a little bit to make lots. Uh, and uh, uh, the only way that I can do that is by being brave uh, and uh, showing a little bit of testicular fortitude by actually buying the thing at support. But uh, I'm going to wait uh, for a little bit of confirmation here, folks. So if I had a, a nice down uh, bar and then a doji and a nut bar, well, I would have a go. I would have a go on the long side. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, so uh, still reasonably optimistic. Uh, and if we go back, uh, this level is still hanging in, uh, still hanging in after a pretty uh, negative number that came out this afternoon. Inflation higher just means that the, the Fed ceiling on interest rates could not chop a little bit. That's been the narrative over by some commentators over the last day or two. Uh, it's been uh, quite a frustrating week inside this little uh, bull flag pattern. Uh, so, so I hope you find that useful. Thanks very much.